In our last class, we have learnt the formula to find the area of sector. Is it children? So today, we will learn the formula for finding the area of segment. Okay. So we know that what is a segment? Is it children? What is segment? Is the part of a circular region between a core and the corresponding arc is the segment of a circle, is it? So how can you find the area of the segment? Okay, we just see this is a circle with center O. Okay, we have to find this area, is it children? So you just listen here, we have to find this area, it will be A, B, B. Okay, now if we join O, A and O, B. Okay, O, A and O, B. You just see from this sector, is this a sector? O, A, B, B is a sector. This is red. So from this sector, if we subtract the area of this triangle, what do we get? Yes, the segment. This is red. So how can you find? Area of segment is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle. Is it clear for you? So what is that children? Area of segment is equal to area of sector minus area of triangle. Area of triangle. Okay. So this is one of the formula. Okay. So if you want to find first you have to find area of the sector. Then area of the triangle then you have to subtract that. Is it? Or else we can just use theta by 360 into pi r square minus half r square sine theta. Okay, so using this formula we can find the area of segment. Is this written? What does segment mean? It is minor segment. Okay, suppose if it is to find the area of major segment. Okay, major segment. How can you find? You have to find this entire thing. Is this right? So how can you find from this entire circle, area of circle, if we minus area of this minor segment, you will get area of the major segment. The same. So what is that? Yes. Area of major segment is equal to Area of circle minus area of minor segment. Area of minor segment. Okay. So these are the two formulas we are using. For what? For finding the area of segments. Is it clear? We will see few questions. The first question is, in a circle of radius 21 cm, an arc subject an angle of 60 degree at the center. Find the area of segment formed by the corresponding arc, is it? So here a circle of radius 21 cm is given to us and an arc subtends, let AB be the arc, this subtends an angle of 60 degree at the center. Okay, now in our question we have to find the area of segment formed by the corresponding arc, is it children? So here we have this AB is the arc, okay, now the segment means we know between a core and the arc. This is red. So we have to find this area, area of the segment. Okay. Now we just see, we know the formula to find the area of segment. The same. So what is that? S. Area of segment is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square minus half r square sine. Theta as it okay. Now what is theta from the question is 60 degree. 60 by 360 into 22 by 7 into r square that is 21 into 21 minus half 21 into 21 into sine theta. Sine theta. What is theta here? 60 degree. Okay, now we are going to find the answer here. This is student. Now we can cancel this. 1 by 6. 
6 and 22 in 2 is it children 3 and 11. Is it? Okay. Now here 21 into 21 is common. Is it children? So can we take that outside as what is 21 into 21? 441. That's it. So we are going to take that outside. 441 into again what is remaining here? 11 divided by 3 into 7. That's it. So what is that? It's 11 by 20. One. Okay, minus, we just see, we have taken 21 to 21 outside, so what is the remaining? 1 by 2 into sine 60 degrees, is it? Now, what is sine 60 degrees? Yes, root 3 by 2, is it? So, how can you write 1 by 2 into root 3 by 2? Okay, now what is that? 441 into 11 by 21 minus root 3 by 4. Okay, now this is the answer. This is left. Now we just see if we can, if you want, we can open the bracket here. Okay, now 441 into 11 by 21. That's it. So how can you write? 441 into 11 by 21. Okay, minus 441 into root 3 by 4. Yes, minus 441 into root 3 by 4. Okay, let me just listen here. 21 and 441, you can cancel 21 times. That's it. Okay, now what you have 21 into 11, that is 231 minus 441 into root 3 by 4. This centimeter square. So, this is the area of the corresponding segment. Okay, next question is find the area of segment AYB. If the radius of the circle is 21 cm and angle AOB equal to 120 degrees, is it? So we just see here. Here, theta is equal to 120 degree. Okay. Here we have to find the area of the segment AYB with. Okay. And the circle, the radius of the circle is 21 cm. Just give it to us. Is it like? Now we just listen. Here, the angle is 120 degrees, is it? So, uh, the angles that can be asked for you to find the area of segment is 60 degree, 120 degree and 90 degree. Okay. So, you just see sin 60 degree you know, sin 90 degree also you know. You don't know what is sin 120 degree. So, that it is nothing but sin 60 degree is equal to sin 120 degree. What is sin 60 degree? Root 3 by 2. The same value is for sin 120 degree also. You just keep that in mind. Okay. Now here we have to find the area of segment. We know the formula area of segment is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square minus half r square sin theta. S H okay now from here. Theta what is theta? 120 degree by 360 degree into 22 by 7 into 21 into 21 minus 1 by 2 into 21 into 21 into sine 120 degree. Okay, now we can cancel 12 and 36, 3 times 3 and 21, 7, 7 and 7 got cancelled. This is right. Okay, now we just listen. Here what you have 22 into 21. Okay. So if you want you can take 121 as common outside. Okay. So what do you have? 21 into 22 minus half into 21 into root 3 by 2. As I told you the value it will be that is the sine 120 degree will be equal to sine 60 degree. So root 3 by 2. Okay. Now from here 21 into 22 minus 21 root 3 by 4. Is it still there? Okay. Now what we have 21 into 22 is yes, 462 minus 21 into 21 into root 3. is yes, 441 root 3 by 4 centimeters for S. Yes. So this is the area of the segment here. So far we have calculated the areas of different figures separately, is it student? Now let us try to calculate the areas of some combination of plane figures. Okay. Now let us see a few questions. Okay. So here the question is find the area of the shaded region where ABC is the square of side 40. 
eight centimeters. This is that. So a square ABC is given here. We have to find only the area of the shaded region. And say, so how can we find that? Here, this is a combination of two plane figures and a square and circles. Is it okay? So how can you find that? Is it? Now we just see from this square, from this area of square, if we subtract the area of this whole circles. Okay, what do we get? S. We will get the area of the shaded region. Is it children? S. So how can you write? Area of shaded region is equal to area of square minus area of four circles. Is it? Area of square minus area of four circles. Is it? Okay. Now you all know what is area of square, side square, is it? So you can take in at the side B A A square minus four pi r square. For so one circle the area is pi r square. Here we have to subtract four circles. So four pi r square. Okay. Now we just see here they have given the side of the square is fourteen centimeter. Is it? So here we can have fourteen square. Is it student? We don't know the radius of the circle. Let's say we just see here the side AB is equal to fourteen. Is this right? So what will be the diameter of one circle? Okay, two circles are there. The total length is fourteen. Therefore, the diameter of one circle is seven. Yes or no? Seven plus seven, fourteen. Is this right? So we understood the diameter of the circle given in the figure is. Seven centimeter. If the diameter is seven centimeter, then what will be the radius? S seven by two. S it okay? So here, in the place of radius, we can substitute seven by two. Okay. So a square, fourteen square minus four into twenty two by seven into seven by two into seven by two. Okay. Now seven and seven we can cancel. Two and four, two times two and two got cancelled. Okay. Now what is my fourteen square minus twenty two into seven? Is it right? So now what is fourteen square? S one hundred ninety six minus what is twenty two into seven? S one hundred fifty four. Okay. So if we subtract, you will get the answer as. Forty-two centimeters square. Therefore, area of the shaded region is equal to forty-two centimeters square. Okay. The next question: Find the area of shaded region if radii of the two concentric circles with center O are seven centimeter and fourteen centimeter respectively, and angle AOC equal to forty degree. Okay. So here, two concentric circles with radii seven centimeter and Fourteen centimeters given to us, and the angle is equal to forty degrees. Is it? So here we have to find the area of the shaded region. Is it right? So you just see how can you find this? Just listen here. O A C is this a sector, student? Yes. Is it? The next one. O B D is this another sector? Yes. Is it? So from this big sector, that is O A C. Okay, if we subtract O B D, is it? What do we get? The shaded region, is it? Okay, so how can you find area of shaded region is equal to area of sector O A C minus area of sector O B D. Okay. Now, what is theta here? Forty degree. Is it? And radius we know. O A. O A is equal to S fourteen centimeter and radius O B is equal to seven centimeter. It is given here. Is it? Okay. Now we are going to substitute that. We know that area of sector is equal to theta by three sixty into Pi r square. As a student, now we just listen here. Since we have two radii, one we are going to consider as r one, and the second radius 
R2. Okay, so what do you have? Minus theta by 360 into pi R2 square. Okay, now from these two, theta by 360 into pi is common. So can we take that outside? Yes, that's it. So theta by 360 into pi into R1 square minus R2 square. Okay. So that is equal to what is theta? 40 by 360 into 22 by 7 into R1 square. What is R1? Yes, 14 and R2, 7. Is it? So how can you write 14 square minus 7 square. Okay children. So now we have 40 by 360. Is it? So 4, 4 and 36, 9 times. Is it? So what do you have? 22 by 9 into 7. We can keep as it is 9 into 7. Okay. Into 196 minus 49. is yes, 147. Okay. Now the 7 and 147 can be cancelled. as yes, answer is 21. Yes, is it? Now 21 and 9. is yes, how many times? As 3 and 7. Okay, now we have, what do we have? 22 into 7 divided by 3. That is 154 divided by 3, is it? So, if we divide, what will you get? So, you will get 51.3 centimeter square. Okay, therefore, what the area of the shaded region is equal to 51.3 centimeter square. Here, the next question is, in figure, arcs are drawn by taking what is as A, B and C of an equilateral triangle of side 10 cm to intersect the sides B, C, C, A and A, B at their respective midpoints D, E and F. Find the area of the shader region and also it is given in the question take pi is equal to 3.14. Okay, now we just see ABC is an equilateral triangle and this D, E and F are the midpoints of their respective sides. So, this is it. So, here they have given the side is equal to 10 cm. Okay, so here since D, E and F are the midpoints, you know that BF will be equal to 5 cm. Is it? Likewise, is it? And also, since it is an equilateral triangle, the angle, each angle is equal to 60 degree. Okay. Now, here the question is, we have to find the area of this shaded region. Okay. So, these are the shaded regions. Okay. So, you so just listen here. Here, we know theta is equal to 60 degree. Okay. And the radius is equal to 5 centimeter. Okay. So, children, so, do this make a sector here? Yes. Is it? What about... This one, this is also a sector, this is also a sector, is it? So here we have three equal sectors, is it children? So how can you find area of one sector? S theta by 360 into pi r square. Likewise, how many sectors are here? Three sectors are here. So how can you write? Three into theta by 360 into pi r square. Is it clear? Okay. So we know that area of shaded region is equal to 3 into area of sector. Is it children? That is 3 into theta by 360 into pi r square. We are, now what is theta? 60 degree. And what is the radii? It will be 5 centimeter. Is it? Okay. So 3 into 60 by 360 into 5 value. 3.14 into 5 into 5. Is this right? Now we can cancel this 6 times. 6 and 3, 2 times. Is it? So, what will be the answer? 5 into 5? 25 into 3.14 divided by 2. Okay. So, when we multiply and divide, you will get 39.25 centimeters square. Therefore, area of the shaded region is equal to 39.25 centimeters square. Clear. So, hope you understood today's portion. Thank you, children.